On this day in 1987, fishing boat captain Wilbur Taft finally sold his first fish to the extremely selective Legal Seafoods. To celebrate, he went to his favorite watering hole and got so drunk that he went home and swabbed his first mate's deck, if you know what I mean. On this day in 1963, Captain C.G. O'Reilly sold a fish to Legal Seafoods. With his dreams finally fulfilled, the captain retired to spend the rest of his life on a houseboat, a life tragically cut short when he went to get the paper and forgot that his house was a boat. On this day in 1982, Captain John H. Smiley finally caught a fish that was up to the standards of legal seafoods. From that day on, he was known at the docks as Captain Catch, which he greatly preferred over his previous nickname, the Cockle Gobbler. On this day in 1964, Captain Earl Melvin finally caught a fish good enough to sell to legal seafoods. To commemorate this occasion, the captain got a tattoo of an anchor. He also got a tattoo of two women riding a dinghy. But that was to commemorate a different occasion.